Hey guys, welcome to another data recovery video. I am a professional data recovery engineer and in 15 years, this is the worst PCB repair attempt on a hard drive I have ever seen. Now I got a phone call from this customer and he said, I've got a problem with my little USB connector, can you help? And I said, sure, send it in, give me a look. I was not expecting to see this mess. It's missing screws. It's been folded and creased, but they were nice enough to give me one little screw in the packaging. Usually there's two sides to the case. It's been broken open. So usually when you see strong force things breaking plastic, I get kind of scared. It's missing the other side. Okay, no big deal. But this is a scary concern. Every time I see someone who gets a screwdriver and doesn't know how to use it, they create a lot of damage, but this is the worst damage I have ever seen done to a hard drive. I really didn't know using a screwdriver was that hard, but actually I have a wall of shame where I'm constantly updating it with different posts and different jobs from people who just don't even know how to use a screwdriver. So I'm going to assume something's happened to this hard drive. Uh, the layperson always comes up with these simple reasons, like it's the USB connector that's uh, broken. But actually, that looks kind of normal to me. What's happened and what I believe has happened is they've successfully probably removed these screws and maybe the screws here on the edge and then they've started to force tools or screwdrivers trying to lift it up and they've started to break and damage it and it's bent on both sides so they've probably pried it open on both sides and then they're like oh right there's another screw left that I forgot that's why it's not lifting up and PCBs they come off pretty easy so this person has um, yeah most likely left this screw in and decided that they'll just snap snap it in half fold it up and destroy it so uh, this job is actually going to be probably a lot harder than I usually deal with. Most DIY jobs are like this. They are a lot harder. Uh, it's not unusual for people to watch one YouTube video and then start to have a crack. You always hear this. Oh, I gave it to my friend to have a crack. Well, yeah, they've had a crack, all right. Crack through the PCB. On top of the PCB being almost folded in half, the hard drive is also... The chassis is bent out of shape. That is not going to help. I hope it hasn't damaged it inside. So something's probably gone wrong with this. And I imagine, in fact, this is another computer shop that sent this to me, by the way. Um, we won't shame them. Will we? No. Um, I imagine that they had some brilliant idea of taking this PCB off and repairing it. So let's have a look under microscope and see how we can solve this now. So, from the top, we can see that the crack has done a lot of damage, particularly just in here. It's ripped through a lot of uh, places, cracked up here. There's practically no chance to repair this PCB. And I have to keep a lot of PCBs as spare parts for a day like today. Yeah, we've got a USB connector problem, they told me. This is actually fine, this is the good part, but down here, the damage they've done to remove it. Uh, you can see here, the screwdriver underneath the pride has scratched damaged lines, torn parts out. It's ripped through this. Now, this part is okay, because that's just a unused, uh, probably terminal output or something, it's unused. But then you start to go through this area here, it's completely torn through. There you go. This fiberglass here is completely torn through. Um, it's not going to be worth repairing this PCB at all. I will need to get a spare one out and replace it. So replacing a PCB can be done. Uh, it depends on the model. There's different chips that need to be swapped over. Uh, this will be the chip down here, the BIOS chip, that I will need to swap to try and get this drive to work again. 
and hopefully it hasn't been cracked or damaged it looks like it might be okay so let's take it off I've got to get a spare PCB and let's get to work now this little chip here is a Winbon 25Q80 and that means it's a 1 megabit ROM chip okay we'll get in and get some flux you have to be very careful with this chip because if you make any mistakes or damage it it will be game over for this little hard drive so once I take it off we'll back it up with a uh, chip reader and make sure it's safe there she is time to go back it up so one of the trace wires has ripped off this dead PCB here you can see here it's lifted and it's stuck to this pin here so I gotta be very careful and remove it. Success! So here is our new PCB ladies and gentlemen and we're just gonna simply swap the chip. Now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find more problems with this hard drive. It's bent out of shape and it hasn't come in for just a USB or a PCB problem. There's gonna be way more to this hard drive than what's obvious with the broken PCB so remember before you do any risky experiments you better back up this chip And if you don't have the equipment to back up a chip, then you shouldn't be doing this in the first place. Nice and clean. Now we have some good news. We have this drive working. We got a correct ID. We're going to check the smarts. No smart to check. So I've got the hard drive's internal smart table working. That is the self-monitoring, analysis, and reporting technology. It's going to tell me all the little issues that's happened to this hard drive. And you'll see here there's a red flag here with the number 3. G-Sense error rate. That means this hard drive has detected three G-Force impacts. There's a little internal G-Force sensor, and every time you drop your hard drive, I'm going to know. So this drive's been dropped, but the good news is there's nothing else here that should stop me from recovering all the data. Okay, so can we read this drive? I'm just going to do a quick read test. Yes, we have access to it, so it's time to get the customer's data back. Now we're going to load the file system and see what's on there we got a Windows NTFS file system with a label external USB that's a good sign and boom there's all the customers data back and all the green boxes is good that's all the files coming back so if you've got a hard drive you need data recovery from then visit my website for details